So, how's everyone going? Anyone else tired? Excited. Tired also, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very tired and very excited about <laughs> today. It's I've been really looking forward to this. Yeah. I can say when I was editing the videos yesterday, I thought these were some of the best quality we've done perhaps ever. <laughs> at least it's at the top quality you've done. We've done good ones before. So that sounds good. Yeah, it's working out pretty well. Yeah, I think it's really coming together. And um, I also feel that we are really improving. Good, yeah. Is it getting easier for us, though? Like, maybe, what if we asked the audience, let's see, are we focusing on the right things in order to, um, like, that gives the most benefit to the audience, so to and say. And you mean uh, the right lessons, lesson choices? Yeah, or... Like right lessons, right delivery format, right teaching style, mm -hmm. right time. Or maybe we can ask that tomorrow. It would be so nice to know. By yeah, survey. It's feedback we could ask that as a direct question. Yeah. So of these icebreakers, the best project you've ever seen, doc, doc, best documented project you've ever seen, what are your ideas? Well, yeah, uh... since I could learn was already there when I saw the question, <laughs> <laughs> I had to find a different one. And I think mm -hmm. the DAS documentation is actually mm -hmm. really, really mm -hmm. nice and extensive. Then you should plus one the ski kit learn. Yeah. True. Do that. And I added one with ski learn. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not as participatory <laughs> as we think we, as we think it is. So we would like to hear more from other people. Yes. We are of course in our bubbles also. Like there might be super awesome yeah. neuroscience libraries out there that we have no idea about. Yeah. Uh, so what makes these so well documented? So for the circuit learn, really nice tutorials. Um, you can really get started mm. um, early and they, they have like everything, tutorials, documentation, reference documentation, training, mm -hmm. videos. Um, Frequently asked questions, yeah. examples. You can, um, there, there is a lot of use of notebooks and we will see them later today, but then also then you can run the notebooks directly in in the browser without installing anything. Really nice. Nice. And also welcoming community. So uh, mm -hmm. welcoming to contributions and yeah, participating. Ah. What makes a project hard to use? For me, really, the no information at all, like if the readme is empty and there is just the code and you don't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. Oh, but all the other points are also very good. <laughs> yeah. Match. Match is an old version that can also be really hard to understand because it seems all very sensible, but when you actually try it out, things don't actually work the way they are documented anymore. Yeah. It's so like to me, I mean, if I see a project that has no documentation, okay, like someone didn't expect other people to use this. And that's fair. Like just because it's released doesn't mean it has to be usable. But there's some kind of cases, like there's a lot of documentation, but there's no good entry point for me who doesn't know what the like background, the um how would I say it? Like, like, there's no point to teach me the basic concepts needed to understand the rest of the documentation. And then it can just be really slow to get there. Or there's too much and it takes forever to um, 
like I need to do something that should be really quick and I want to find examples to copy and paste to at least get my immediate task done, but I can't find that. And yeah. Yeah, good point about the entry point. And I guess also different people are looking for different entry points and we will return to that. But most often we, the keyword was quick. You, you want to get started. Then if you want to contribute, it's a different entry point. Like how do you participate? How do you contribute? How do you suggest changes? But yeah. very often we just want it. I, I want to see, is this running? Is this doing what I thought it would do? Mm. Is it close to what I had in mind? Yeah. And when, when we write documentation or write code, it can be hard to move outside of this bubble because I'm in the bubble, I'm working on a project for months and months and months, maybe years, every day, eight hours. It's very clear to me where things are. Mm -hmm. It can be hard to step outside of the bubble and then think, look at this thing, like how, how does it look for somebody who doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't know where things are, how to run it? Yeah. And how can we do that? Maybe we should ask, I don't know, show it to somebody huh? and ask for feedback. Yeah, like get the extra users. Mm -hmm. And then writing code. Let's see, what do y'all use these days? I use VS Code a lot these days, but I also don't write that much code anymore right now. And um, sometimes Vim also. Yeah. Anybody's using the browser to write code? Mm -hmm. Looking at AI? Yeah. Or like these, what, the GitHub workspaces? Yeah. Stuff. And if you scroll down, there's one more question. What did you have for breakfast? And for me, the answer is not much. Is that a normal situation or? Well, pretty normal, but also I normally wake up a lot later, so it's not really needed, but mm -hmm. yeah. I had some good bread with cheese. I finally found one good bread here in Finland mm -hmm. that is comparable <laughs> to German bread. Yeah. But it's not the uh, uh, Raisumis, which are my one of my favorite breads. Raisumis? Or the Raisumis. Ah, Raisumis. Uh, they are also yeah. very good, though, mm -hmm. but very different, yeah. yeah. So every time I travel to Finland, I buy many of these <laughs> and then they go into the freezer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Should we get started? I guess I'll go. Maybe y'all could do another audio check and then we begin with documentation. Okay, yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. So Thanks, good Richard. Good morning, everyone.